What is up guys? Welcome back to this Django REST framework tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily connect Django REST to a React.js front end. So in this video, we are going to be building out something like this. So this is all the data from our API and it's being pulled using uh, React and JavaScript. And it is, as you can see, in these nice bootstrap cards. So if we go over here, this is our REST API that we did in the previous uh, five or six videos. And as you can see, here are all the posts. And these are the same posts that are over here. As you can see, we have Learn Django and title Learn Django. And it's not actually pulling from here. What it's doing is pulling from the JSON, which is all of this. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is open up a terminal and make sure your virtual environment is activated. Then we're going to install the following. pip install django-cores-headers. Okay, once that is installed, we're going to open up this in our uh, ID. So what I'm going to do is inside of here, we need to open up our settings.py file. So let's find that. Inside of here, we're going to add a couple things. So the first thing we need to ins add to installed apps what we just uh, installed. So add this line right here, cores headers. And then down here in the middleware, we're going to add the file, uh, the following two lines, right there. So we have cores headers dot middleware dot cores middleware and Django dot middleware dot common dot common middleware. And the final thing we need to add in our settings.py file is this cores origin whitelist. And we're gonna add this local host right here on port 3000. And what this is doing is port 3000 is the port that React.js runs on. So we are allowing that port and that local host to make requests to our Django REST API. So once you have all three of these things, install apps, the middleware, and the whitelist, and make sure that the middleware is, make sure these are, these are the first two lines because order of these does matter. And now that's all we need for Django. So we can now move on to the uh, React JS portion of this. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal here. And inside of here, what I'm going to do is I am going to install the command to allow us to create a new React app. So I'm going to say npm install dash g, so global create react app. And this will install the command globally on your machine. Wait for that to finish. And then if you get Okay, so we're getting a lot of errors here. And what it's saying is uh, the operation was rejected. Uh, it is likely you do not have permissions to access this file. So to fix this, we can run the same command again, except this time we'll put sudo in front of it. This will prompt us for our password. And this is simply uh, giving permission to this command to do whatever it needs to do to install the files. Okay, so as you can see, we are now good. And what we can do now is use that command to create our app. So I'm going to ls here, and you can see I have my virtual environment, the tutorial folder, and this front end folder. So this is actually what I'm creating with this command. So I already did it, but for you guys, you're simply going to type create react app front end. So this command right here, and when you, whoops, front end. And when you run this command, it will create a folder called front end with all of the necessary react uh, components in there. So when you run that, next we can CD into front end. When you list everything out, 
this is what we get. So we get all of the pre-installed React uh, files. And you can actually run this right now if you'd like with yarn start, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and we're going to navigate to app.js. So that's in your front end, src, app.js. And then your app.js is going to look a little different than mine. And what you're going to do is simply, you can go to the link in the description and you can copy all of this code and simply paste it into your app.js file. And the reasoning for that is because this is part of the Django REST tutorial series, so I don't want to dive too deep into React and JavaScript. So I'm just going to have you copy it, and we'll explain the parts that we need to know. If you like a tutorial on, Django, on React, uh, please comment that and let me know, and that's something I'll look into. Basically, we have a simple uh, class in JavaScript, and we have a constructor up here, but the important thing in here is this items array. These will hold our uh, blog posts. And then down here, as you can see, we have this fetch statement. And if you've dealt with JavaScript and APIs before, this will look familiar, but this is just fetching data from this uh, URL. And as you recall, this does look familiar because this is our localhost URL for Django and slash posts is where all the posts are. So if we go back here, this is the same URL, we get the post list. And then as you can see, we have this format equals JSON. Well, that is right up here. We say get JSON. Now we have this URL and make sure that server is running. All right, there we go, server is running. Okay, so now that's what we're fetching. We're fetching all of this data. And then we have to take this, uh, kind of parse it, and get what we want. So we are doing that right here, converting it to JSON. And then we have the result. And we're saying items, so this items are right up here, equal to result.items. And then we're catching any errors. So that portion right here is getting all the data. And then down here, in all of this, we are returning that data in uh, HTML and CSS. So we're displaying on screen. So basically, we're doing some error handling up here. Uh, so say what the error is, if there is an error. If there's no error, and it's loading, uh, print that inside a div tag. And then if it, the data is all loaded successfully, then return this right here. And inside of here, this is pretty simple. What we are doing is we're saying items.map. So map is a JavaScript function, and it basically applies the uh, same function to each item in that array. So we have item here, which is each blog post, and we're looping through each of the posts, and we are printing out the information we need. So we are basically, we have a row, and then we have a card for each blog post. And we're simply printing out the ID as the key, which I'm not going to get into. Uh, we have item.title, so we're printing out the title inside this tag here. We're printing out the content inside of here. And then in here, in this text tag, we're saying item.author. And then I also have this written by text just to make it look a little nicer. And if this HTML doesn't look familiar to you, that's OK, because it's not really HTML. This is uh, actually bootstrapped. Uh, this is actually React Bootstrap. And it's uh, the front end bootstrap framework rewritten for React. So we need to install React Bootstrap via NPM. So back in your terminal, go back to this one here. Make sure your virtual environment is activated. And then you're going to write the following command, npm install bootstrap. So we're installing bootstrap. And we want react strap access. Oops. 
There we go, and dash dash save. And that command I simply uh, googled for installing React Bootstrap, and that's the command I got. All right, we'll let that install. So now, what we can do is back in Visual Studio Code, before we import them, we need to go into our index.js file, which can be found at the same level as app.js, and add this line right here. That will import the bootstrap into our project, and then we can import each individual item that we need, just like that. And then we can use them down here, as you see. So when you have all this, basically we just have the app.js, added the one line here, and added the setting stuff. If you have all that working correctly, we can come back to the terminal. We can run this with yarn start. Before I do that, make sure your Django REST uh, API is running. Okay, hit enter. And this will bring us to our local host port 3000. And there you go. You see we have all the posts, map, this is the card, title, content, the author, and it's got a little read more button. And it does that for each post. And like I said, if you go back here, it's getting the data just like that from the JSON response from our Django REST API. Okay, again, the tutorial, again, the code can be found here. There we go, I just committed that. So this is the code, if you go to branch, you go to the React branch. This is the code for this tutorial that I just did. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos like this.